Welcome to SRAM Technical Communications. This video will guide you through the hose replacement process for a reverb hydraulic seat post. You will need common bicycle maintenance tools as well as some specialty tools. View a complete list of tools and supplies in the video description below or go to sram.com forward slash service. Secure the bicycle in an upright position. Raise the seat post to full extension. Remove the brakes to avoid reverb hydraulic fluid and dot brake fluid cross-contamination. Do not allow reverb hydraulic fluid to come into contact with any brake components. Contaminated brake components can compromise brake performance, may cause brake failure, and can lead to serious injury and or death. Remove the remote lever from the handlebar. Disconnect the hydraulic hose from the frame. Remove the saddle clamps and saddle. To view only the steps for hose shortening, click this link. To view the steps for hose replacement, continue watching. A new reverb hose kit with a hose barb must be assembled. Insert the barb sleeve onto the hose. Thread the barb into the hose and barb sleeve until it stops. Tighten the hose and barb sleeve with a crow foot socket and torque wrench. Place a rag under the seat post and hose to absorb any fluid. Wrap a rag around the upper post. Remove the hose barb. Remove the hose from the frame. Install the new hose barb and hose. Tighten it with a crow foot socket and torque wrench. Secure the hose to the frame. Rotate the remote counter clockwise to unthread and remove it from the original hose. With the seat post fully extended and at the desired ride height in the frame, route the hose to the handlebar remote location. Hold the hose and turn the handlebar side to side. The length of the hose should create a gentle bend in the hose and allow the handlebar to turn freely. Make sure there are no sharp bends in the hydraulic hose. A sharp bend in the hose will prevent fluid from flowing. Make sure there is no tension at the remote when the bar is turned. Too much tension will cause the hose to disconnect from the remote. Mark the cut location. Cut the hydraulic hose. To ensure a square cut and to prevent damage to the hose, use only a hydraulic hose cutter. Insert the remote hose barb into the hose and rotate it clockwise to thread it into the hose until it stops. Do not over tighten the remote into the hose. If the hose is over or under tightened, hydraulic fluid can leak. Before reinstalling the remote and using your reverb, you must perform a full remote system bleed procedure. Click this link for video instructions or go to sram.com forward slash service. This concludes the hose replacement and shortening procedure for reverb height adjust seat posts.